celebrate this Mass with us. Our opening song this morning is number 426 in the music issue, 426 in the music issue, the Canticle of the Sun. <coughs> are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the fields, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. See, so the sun, the bringer of day, he carries the light of the Lord in his rays. The stars who light up the way unto the throne. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the fields, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. And sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord God to bless this water he has created which will be sprinkled on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. Almighty Lord and God, who are the source and origin of all life, body and soul, we ask you to bless this water, which we will use in confidence to implore forgiveness for our sins and to obtain the protection of your grace against all illness and every snare of the enemy. Grant, O Lord, in your mercy, that living waters may always spring up for our salvation, so that we may so that we may approach you with a pure heart and avoid all danger to body and soul through Christ our Lord. Amen. Follow me. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. People of good will. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you are pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed elders for them in each church and, with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. is 
gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever. My my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your Let them make known your might to the children of Adam and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you might proclaim his gospel worthy of love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you also 
should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, everybody. We have lots of reasons to be happy today, and one of them is that Deacon Jose is now Deacon Jose. As of two weeks ago, he was ordained, and uh, so now he'll be spending the summer nearby us at Our Lady of the Greenwood for his summer assignment, which he actually starts tomorrow. But congratulations, Deacon Jose. We're so happy. And thank you for for being here, and more importantly, just thank you for saying yes to God's will. And it's just a beautiful thing. Um, We're also thankful for for really an amazing festival, and I know uh, so many of of you all were there. Um, And it's so thanks, just thanks and thanks and thanks. It was an awesome time, and there were so many graces that that came from that that festival. I'll just share that... um, Somebody told me yesterday he was leaving Cagney's Pizza on Friday night. He was walking out and he hears the DJ over there on the green space at the festival saying, make some sound, make some noise if you love Jesus. And everybody was going crazy. And, and this person who was leaving Cagney said like, he looked over and he paused like, and then he looks over at Speedway, and there's a lady at the pump, like going like this, you know. And then, and there's there's people. He goes like everybody was just. He says there was like a wave of praise going up to God, and it was awesome. And it's all for the glory of the Lord, you know. And uh, so it's just beautiful. It was we had all these God is good shirts on the front, and then on the back it said all the time. And so lots of people were wearing them, and they'd be walking down and. Somebody would yell it, and then, and then they reply, the other, God is good, and then they'd reply all the time. You know, it's just awesome. There was just a great spirit and a great, um, a great crowd, for one thing, uh, last night and the last two, the nights before that. So thanks to everybody for your part in the festival. It was great. Today we have the last component of it at 11 o'clock um, at the Knights of Columbus nearby St. Joe. Um, from 11 till 1, and that's where the raffle will be drawn as well. And um, But just I just thought that was interesting because the first, the last line of our first reading talks about how Paul and Barnabas get to Antioch, where the Christians were first called Christians, and they start talking about how God had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. I was just thinking about all those people at Speedway, all those people nearby who were just like, Look it over at the festival and getting a little taste of the Lord. Praise God. Um, but really what I wanted to think real briefly about this morning is our gospel, where Jesus says, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. Such as my love has been for you, says Jesus, so must your love be for one another. And I think that's an, it's a tall order because we think about how Jesus loves us. He loves us completely. He loves us on the cross. He loves us when it isn't fun and when it isn't pleasant and when it isn't easy. And that's why he ended up on the cross. But that's the love that we're meant to have for each other. And um, it made me think about a um, story of Mother Teresa I read years ago. She was in Calcutta, and there was um, a guy there who was near death, and the flies were kind of swarming around his body, and um, wounds everywhere. And Mother Teresa goes up to this man and, and embraces him. And there was on the other side of the street a, a, somebody from... Um, from probably the United States who was filming things and kind of saw this happen and so zoomed in on it, didn't realize that was going to happen. 
And the, the guy says afterwards to Mother Teresa, I wouldn't do what you did for a million dollars. And she said, neither would I. <laughs> because, in other words, I'm doing it for Jesus. I'm, I'm doing it for Jesus. And I'm doing it as Jesus would have it done. And as a matter of fact, Jesus is doing it through me. And that's the most like radical thing, right? Like Jesus lives his life in us. He is the living Christ. He is the risen one that we receive at mass. And then he lives his life in us. And, and, it's, it's a, and that's why we must love as Jesus. Because we're allowing him to love through us this world where too many people have not been loved enough. And too many people are dying of that. And um, our job is to love as Jesus loved. Not just imitating him, but surrendering in such a way that he can live his life of love through us. It's a very beautiful thing. It's a hard thing. It's a hard thing, but it's a beautiful one. Um, I was reading this little thing here the other day, and St. John Vianney wrote a sermon called signs of true love for God. And one of them, he says, is be prepared. A person who truly loves God is prepared always to render anyone a service whenever the opportunity arises and even prays for opportunities to arise. Isn't that beautiful? Like if we truly love God, then we are always ready always excited to render a service to someone without being, oh, I'm so put upon, life is so hard, why is it all on me? No, who cares? Like, no, we get the joy of serving people. We get the joy of allowing Jesus to serve people through us. Isn't that the most wonderful thing? Like, and that we should, whenever the opportunity arises, that we're like, how can I be of service? How can I love this person? And it's a good thing, says St. John Vianney, to pray every day for opportunities to present themselves wherein we can show Christ-like love, where we can love as Christ loves, which is sacrificially, joyfully, faithfully, totally, without complaint, and in the measure that Christ loves, which is endless. May it be so for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism. I think they're going to do this. Sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. And now in faith, let us turn to God with our prayers. For Pope Francis, may he be guided by the Holy Spirit in making decisions for the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be known as disciples of Jesus by the love and care that we show one another. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all of you who, for all who are graduating this spring, that they will find good ways to use their gifts and skills so that they may contribute to society and find meaning and satisfaction in their work, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are displaced by war, famine, or natural disasters, that God will protect them from harm and lead them to places of safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace that God will turn minds and hearts from violence, open new ways for dialogue, and help all who are burdened with anger to find healthy ways to express it. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of the living and for those who have died, especially Omer Brewer, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's praise and thank God for three beautiful days of our festival and so many fruits that came from the fair. We thank God for protecting us from the weather yesterday, and uh, we thank God for Deacon Jose and his yes to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Almighty God, we praise and thank you for all of our blessings. Help us always to be faithful to you and to serve you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory song is number 598 in the music issue, Christ Be Our Life. Longing for time, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own. Your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church. Gather Bless you. Thanks, Bree. Good job. Longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, broken for others, shared unto all our fed. Christ, be a light, shine in our put those on that table. Thank you. Shine through the Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of yours. Say, Christ, your sight, this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, 
we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. So say, God bless you. Thanks. Okay. Peace. takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Amen. Y contigo, Señor Jesús. 
resucitamos. Amén. Ahora el cuerpo de Cristo. Amén. La sangre del Señor. Eating your body, drinking your blood. We become what we receive. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may or may not have, but there's an envelope and paper and pen at the end of each bench. And those are for the folks who may have forgotten, tossed out, or forgot to bring it back, your stewardship of time, talent, and treasure form. And if you haven't done it, please take one and fill it out. You can give it to us today before you leave, or even still mail it back, or bring it back next Sunday. I really do look at those papers, and I try to get people involved if they want to be. All right, that's my end of my sermon. This, this Monday, tomorrow, is the special St. Anne's Altar Society meeting, and it'll be at 7 p.m. in the hall. So all the women are invited to come, and it's going to be exciting. And Tuesday is our parish council meeting at 7 p.m. in the hall, and I hope it isn't as exciting as the Monday meeting. All right, next Sunday is the vision committee meeting right after Mass in the hall. And this Sunday, in a little while, the KFC in Shelbyville is having a chicken dinner, and that's in connection with the fall festival that Father was talking about, or the spring festival. The St. Joe Festival, it's from 11 to 1, is that. Also, you may have noticed there's a new sign by the driveway, and it says, for security. So please do not park there. It is for the security car which is parked right out in front of church right now. And also, there is a group, youth group meeting tonight. Perfect. Thank you, sister. I think I said it all. I think you did too. Praise the Lord. That's good. That's good. And um, yeah, the dinner today, the raffle drawing will be at the Knights of Columbus. I know a lot of people bought tickets. So if you want to, now remember, if you win $2,000, the tradition is you donate that back. Um, (laughs) Just, just so we're all clear. All right. God bless you all. Have a great day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I almost stole your line. Our closing song is number 739 in the music issue, Lead Me, Lord. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for the Lord, for God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled, and the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord. And to find the narrow way, be my way, be my truth, be my light, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs, and the pure of heart shall see their God. shall be satisfied. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my light, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find the narrow way. 